What's up, everybody? It's Wednesday. I'm back and uh, doing a, a brand new release. Um, Bless the Fall just put out a new single and a new music video. Uh, I'll talk a little bit more about my Bless the Fall history uh, after the song's over, but uh, we'll check it out here. So the song is called Wake the Dead. I haven't listened to it yet, uh, so we'll be checking this out together. Um, a couple things before I get started, as always, I do have my coffee. Uh, very critical that I have that. Uh, I'm not a professional. Please don't expect me to be uh, looking at this the way a professional would. Um, I have too much hair to be a professional. And um, don't be a dick. You know, I try to be thoughtful when I do these. Whether I like a song or not, I try to think about it and, and be uh, even-handed if I can. Um, so uh, just uh, bear with me on that, all right? Try to keep it, keep it calm and polite in the comments. Uh, with that out of the way, let's get right into it. This is Wake the Dead by Bless the Fall. All right, uh, pleasantly surprised. So, <clears throat> before I get into the video, uh, I said I would um, discuss my Bless the Fall history. I I found Bless the Fall in like 2009, 2008, 2009, at a uh, Christian bookstore back in the day. Um, they had like a listening station, right? For those of you who remember that era uh, when CDs were still big. Right, you would go to a store and you could preview the CD. You could listen to either some of the songs, maybe all of the songs, maybe a minute of each song from an album. Right, and that way you get an idea beyond just the single that you knew. So, at this time, my um, music consumption 
was heavily controlled by my parents, right? What I was allowed to listen to was uh, pretty narrow. Um, but I managed to convince them to let me to get a Bless the Fall CD because they were Christian enough, right? And it was really cool. Like, I was really pumped to have this heavy double bass, right? This is, like I said, this is 2008, 2009. This is right when this kind of music is really kind of taking over. And I was really excited. And then I went to college and I was like, well, I can listen to whatever I want. And I moved on very quickly from um, Christian metal. You know, I was like, well, I found Motionless and White and they're better than Bless the Fall. So moving on. Um, and there was always something weird about that first album. The mastering seemed like I, maybe they didn't have a big budget to get it um, like produced I don't know, something felt weird to me about the mixing and like the quality of the audio it just wasn't punchy on the first album. Um, so I kind of moved on pretty quickly and that was it. I had a lot of friends in college who listened to Bless the Fall. I had friends who saw them, I don't know, half a dozen, a dozen times probably. Um, but I pretty much haven't listened to them since 2009. Um, so I, don't, I didn't know what to expect um, from this new one, but I am, I'm, pleased i really enjoyed it uh first of all who doesn't like a good blast beat uh, a couple of really good breakdowns you know like people can talk a lot of shit about mid-2000s era metal and hardcore and screamo post-hardcore whatever and there were a lot of really copycat bands right there was a lot of sort of very formulaic uh, approaches to the music and different bands had varying levels of talent and ability and so some of it worked and some of it didn't but like at the time you were kind of desperate for give me more breakdowns give me more of this stuff right so you i was listening to bands that were like embarrassing at this point um but i still do love a good breakdown right there's something about it that just it i mean it just makes you want to fight <laughs> i don't i don't really know how to explain it better than that you get that second chorus right because i mean it does tend to be pretty formulaic you go verse chorus verse chorus maybe a bridge breakdown and then either the third verse or the chorus again right sometimes you get a couple breakdowns sometimes they throw them in a little earlier but it does tend to be that sort of back third of the song right so you build and build you get everybody kind of into the song and then typically what will happen is you'll have everything drop out for a second or you'll have like a siren or like a, 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 like a guitar scrape or something. And then you'll launch into the slowed down breakdown, right? Sometimes it's it will like cut the BPM in half. And you get that really slow chugging breakdown. Those aren't my favorite. This one was really good. I really enjoyed how you've got, you got the drums, you got the guitar. Sometimes you get a little bit of vocals in them. Not always. Um, I really enjoyed this. I thought this song was great. The video itself was fine. I mean, it wasn't a, a super elaborate video, right? It was mostly not a narrative. Um, you had those people in what I think were trash bags, um, like sort of climbing out of them or peeling them off. But for the most part, it was it was essentially staged as sort of a live video, right? Where you just got the people performing, um, and that's cool. Like I. To me, you know, it doesn't give me the same sort of uh, artistic expression that you get when you have a purely narrative video. Um, but I still enjoyed it. I thought it was a good video. Uh, I don't know. I I'm not going to make any um, declar declarations uh, right now about whether this is going to get me back onto the Bless the Fall wagon or not. Um, but I will say I, I liked this much more than I expected to. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, they have they have decided to continue being heavy, and I, I like that. I like that in a band. You know, I like bands that evolve, and I'm all for artists trying new sounds. You know, you don't want to necessarily make the music you were making when you were 21 or 17 or whatever, right? Your 2009 was almost 15 years ago, so that's a long time, both for these guys to grow up, have families, right? your life changes, your situation changes. Sometimes the stuff you were writing when you were broke 
And in the midst of, you know, every emotion that you have is maxed out. Sometimes you wanna, don't want to make that kind of music anymore when you're in your 30s or 40s and you're more stable. Your life is different. And that's totally fine, right? I, I, I certainly respect that. Um, but at the same time, you know, for me, what I liked was this sound. So it's nice to see them continue to make it. Uh, I think that'll do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. I uh, appreciate it. If you are so inclined, give me a like and a subscribe. Uh, it helps me out. Um, have a good day out there. Stay safe. Drink lots of water. And uh, don't talk to cops. <laughs>